Hey, good evening. Good evening, everybody. I hope you guys are doing well. And uh, welcome, guys, to this uh, uh, special call tonight. And I mean, it's been a while missing you, most of you guys, uh, since we've been on this call to, uh, I mean, together like this. And it's been quite a while. Guys, let us know where you are connecting from. I just want to know where most of you guys are connecting from. I mean, we've got guys connecting all the way from Cape Town. Uh, welcome, Ziggy, Kenya, uh, Moses, uh, I mean, uh, Uganda, Tabitha, welcome, Arare, uh, Rose. We've got um, Dr. Lucy there. I mean, we just want to see you guys. Uh, where are you guys connecting from? Nira, all the way, Cape Town, Ghana, Nigeria. Just want to see where you guys are you connecting from? Benjamin, uh, Mel, Pretoria, Ghana. I mean, it's amazing to see everybody connecting from all the different uh, uh, parts of the world and uh, onto, onto this call. And uh, tonight is a very, uh, very, very special call that at least we, we have. I mean, we've got the Mandarin connecting all the way from you, from Centurion. And uh, welcome, guys. So we're going to start on this call actually on time. And um, I just want us to, to realize that we are launching what you call Africa 2.0. I know a lot of people have been asking, hey, Henry, what is this Africa 2.0? And I just want to give it to you guys so that if you fully understand what you mean by Africa 2.0, and what is it meaning? What's the meaning for you? I just want you guys to realize you are the upline for your business and you are the leader for your business. So you are the upline to yourself. I just want you guys to know that you are the upline for your, for your business. And um, some of you are saying, hey, we are pioneering Africa 2.0. Let's, this is time for us to forget everything that has happened in the past. There's no more previous company we need to talk about. The only company we know is secret. That's the company where we are learning from, where we need to change and plan from and build from there to the next level. So now you as the pioneer, you're creating your own path. You're creating your own journey. So we are there to help you. We're there to assist you. We're there to build together. We are there to take this journey, I mean, uh, 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 together. So there's nobody who's got all the answers. It's for you to find solutions for your market and for you to be able to build in that market. So we have to build with what we have. So, I mean, these, these are the people that you at least were looking for now to say, guys, this is the time. What Secret has done for us is what we have right now. We're not gonna compare ourselves with Europe. We're not gonna compare ourselves with America. We're not gonna compare ourselves with any other region. We are saying this is what we have. We've got skincare in Africa. We don't have nutrition in Africa. It's going to come when I don't know, but we need to build on skincare on what we have. We've got right now, I mean, with access to getaways, wherever we have the getaways, that's what we have. And let's deal with what we have and build. So we are looking for the pioneers who are saying with what we have, I'm ready to build. And if you want something that we don't have, I will encourage you to wait for it. When is it going to come? I don't know. But I'm looking for those who are saying, hey, Henry, we are pioneers. We're going to build with what we have. If you are the one, give me a triple one. Give me a one. Give me a one in the chat. Then say, hey, I'm one of the pioneers. I'm ready to build. I'm ready to do whatever I have with what, what we have right now. Give me a one in the chat. Then say, guys, I'm gonna build with, I'm seeing a lot of ones flying in there. I'm seeing a lot of ones. And I think this is why you guys, you are actually here on this call to say, hey, we are the pioneers. We're gonna do what it takes for us to build uh, with what we have. And uh, there's nothing for you to wait. And nobody is gonna micromanage you. And nobody's gonna be, I mean, tell you what to do. But I, one thing I know is if you've got a back office, your back office will definitely tell you. And if you are hungry, uh, I mean, you have to see what you can do to change your, your results. So guys, we have mistakes. We did not get the results that we expected. We have done a lot of things. We know all of you, all of us here 
I think you have all gone out, you have all tried certain things. We have never, or you have never got the results that at least you wanted. Personally, myself, I can tell you, I've gone all out, put all my effort and everything, but not get the certain results that I wanted. But that's not the end of it. Sometimes you need to take a step back, go back to the drawing board and say, hey, let's start again. Beginning of Africa 2.0. One, I mean 2.2. This is the beginning of Africa 2.2. Are you ready to kickstart Africa 2.2? If you are ready to say, guys, I'm ready. Let's start a new journey. Let's start a new chapter. Give me a two in the chat box there. Give me a two in the chat box and say, hey, I'm ready. I'm ready to take Africa 2.2, where I'm the master of my business, where I'm, the, where I'm the boss of my business, where I'm the upline of my business, where I'm the pioneer for Africa, where I'm going to do what it takes for me to win and to succeed in this uh, business. You know what, guys? And when I looked at all the leaders that we do have and all the people that I've seen building secret, there is no other better person to kickstart Africa 2.2, 2.0 for us right now. To say, guys, yes, let's start on a clean slate. Let's build Africa again. Let's build your business again. Let's give you the tools that's going to enable you to start building your business. So I want you guys to be ready today and to learn. And to say, you know what, I'm a new person. Let's forget the past. Let's forget all the, our successes and achievements we had. I am erasing everything. I'm not here as a Ruby agent. I'm here as Henry Moyo, a new agent who is here to learn and to start my new business afresh. The results I made in the past are not giving me results in my bank account right now. I want to start afresh with new action with new leaders with new people with new members new blood that's going to build this business to the next level if you guys are saying you are ready if you are ready i'm going to introduce to you guys this gentleman is somebody whom i admire so much he has been a mortgage a mortgage lender and um some years back when the uh, markets crashed you know he was about four months behind his payments in, um, and you know, we all sometimes fall behind our payments. It was four months behind. And you know what? That affects your whole life and, uh, and everything. And, um, you know, the first time when somebody introduced him to Secret, he actually laughed it off and said, you know what? What is this that you're introducing me to? Skin care. What are you talking about? He just laughed this off. But he later, he later joined. And I mean, this really changed in his life he demoed secret to everyone whom he knows and within uh, his first month he made over five thousand us dollars that's almost over eighty thousand runs in his first month of being part of uh, a secret he didn't know his back office he didn't know even what to log on to his back office all he was doing was just doing the work and being focused to ensure that hey he was a man on a mission he was there to make money to take care of his uh, family. And within six months, he hit the rank of diamond. So this is somebody who knows how to build this business to the next level. And he has just recently relocated from Washington, D.C., actually to the home of secret in Phoenix, uh, Arizona. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome my brother, my good friend, uh, Ben Bradshaw, uh, diamond agent let's give him a, a, a big virtual welcome to the show my brother ben can you hear me yeah i can can you hear me okay i can hear you loud and clear my brother uh, amazing it's that's awesome yours, my brother. wow appreciate you guys logging on and um you know just being part of the group and um you know being the pioneers of uh secret africa so uh, i know that uh, too much is given much is expected and uh, you know, and uh, my conversations with Henry, um, you know, he's a true servant leader and he cares. And obviously you guys as well. I see Ziggy's on. She says, always been ready, right? Which I've never had a doubt in my mind about that. So, um, you know, super excited to be on with you guys. 
and I appreciate the uh, I appreciate the uh, the kind words and the welcome. Uh, oh wow, Carolyn is actually in San Antonio, so not too far from me. So pretty cool. And um, you know, I'm excited to be with you guys here for a short amount of time today. I wish we had more time, but uh, just to share with you guys a little bit about you know my story and 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 how we got started, what we did, because it's actually very similar uh, to what you know some of the challenges you guys are facing. Uh, across the pond, if you will, over in Africa. And, you know, it's always been a place that, um, that I've wanted to visit, uh, that, I, that my family and I will visit. And uh, so we're looking forward to that and seeing, you know, all the smiling faces as we explode Africa. Um, I, I can tell you that I believe personally that um, the biggest earners in the company will actually come from Africa. And, uh, you know, so uh, it's just a matter of time of who introduces them, I do not believe the biggest earners of our company have actually even uh, demoed or seen or experienced the product yet. So, um, you know, it, it's all about us and who, uh, you know, our activity, because that's the only thing we can control along with our mindset and our attitude. And, um, you know, from that, we will find people just like us, just like us that are interested in building a huge empire and, uh, you know, opening up the country, uh, actually the continent, right? And individual countries and, you know, ultimately leaving that legacy behind that uh, the history books will be written about, uh, not just in Africa, but globally within Secret Direct. And so, you know, I can tell you guys, let me share with you just real quickly, my Dun & Bradstreet, so you can understand why I'm here with you guys today, why, you know, I'm sharing this information and, you know, how maybe you could even learn, you know, do and review if you take anything uh, from this training today. Uh, and I hope you do, and I hope you apply it because, you know, uh, for me, guys, I don't necessarily consent I don't um, believe uh, being on trainings per se is doing secret. For me, that's sharpening your ax so you can do secret, sharpening your ax so you can actually chop down the tree, right? Uh, because if you're swinging a dull ax, you're not going to get necessarily the results you're looking for, or maybe you could, but there's more efficient ways to do it, right? And obviously taking the time to sharpen your ax to chop down the tree would be a great idea uh, before you just go out there and swing the ax and get tired because you're using a dull tool. And so it's necessary to, uh, to gain the knowledge, but it's even more necessary to apply it. And the reason why I say that is because, you know, when my wife and I uh, first got started in Secret Direct, we didn't have travel, we didn't have nutrition, we had skincare. Uh, we had actually less skincare than what we have today, than even what you guys have to offer. Um, and again, we didn't have the getaways, which in my opinion is an amazing value proposition to help people make decisions to get started and ultimately change their lives as well. Uh, but we didn't have any of that. We barely actually had a back office. Uh, I didn't know my username or my password to get into the back office uh, for the first five to six weeks. And we had, we had made well over five to $6,000 in the compensation plan uh, as a byproduct of just doing the activity. And so, you know, when I first started, um, you know, I didn't have a background in skincare. Actually, it scared me, believe it or not, um, because I, I actually assumed that my wife would know more about skincare because she was a woman. And, uh, you know, that was my unfortunate preconceived notion was that women, because you are women, you use skincare. I didn't think guys use skincare, although I was using it. I just didn't consider it. I was very uneducated, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And so I just assumed that my wife would automatically get it and that we would become millionaires overnight because she was a woman who used skincare. Doesn't make any sense, I know, but that's what I was telling myself. And because our self-talk is ultimately the most important uh, part of, you know, uh, of, 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 of life, right? Because our mind is a bank and, and, and ultimately, you know, if we want to make quality withdrawals, right, meaning doing things to get results that are great in our lives, we must first make even better quality deposits, right? Because if not, you're going to overdraft your mind and you're not going to get any of the desired results you're looking for. And so, you know, we didn't have any of the things that we had today. And, uh, it, it, and, and so I'm not naive to believe that, you know, there are challenges in Africa, right? Um, you know, and, uh, and things of that nature. I know that sometimes things can be a little bit more challenging for you guys than let's say, you know, even in Africa, whether it might be South Africa versus, you know, uh, Northern Africa, right? And, and so I'm not naive to believe that there are, there, there are challenges and some are bigger than others. 
Uh, but, uh, but at the end of the day too, right? We have an amazing opportunity to help people solve those challenges. You have an amazing opportunity to help people solve challenges. That's right. You know, Nira, uh, Rajan, hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, Dr. Lucy, you know, Lydia, um, you know, Hewa, right? Uh, hopefully I'm saying that right too. Ziggy, I mean, Carolyn, you know, um, we have the solution to a lot of uh, life's challenges, regardless of your geographic locations and the things that you may be experiencing in your own local markets, right? We have this thing called the internet, uh, which is amazing too. Why? Because it allows us to connect even though we are thousands of miles away. And so, but at the end of the day, you cannot shortchange the hustle. You cannot shortchange your success and you can't cheat it because, you know, karma, God, I'm not sure who you guys believe in, right? Hopefully a higher power, but I think we can all be, uh, come in agreement that, you know, uh, there is a higher power that is watching us, that is giving us the things that we deserve back. But ultimately, they, you know, he, she, or, you know, what, again, not, you know, to disrespect anyone's religious or spiritual beliefs, but um, it would be naive to believe that things would be handed to us uh, overnight. And, um, you know, because everyone wants to make, um, you know, and become wealthy, making millions of dollars, you know, whether it's a year, whether it's a month, whether it's a week or a day, right? But very few people are willing to go through the struggles that it takes to actually achieve those things. And, uh, you know, uh, like Jim Rohn says, um, you know, don't wish things were easier, wish you were better, right? And so, because, you know, you think about this, for example, you know, how many of you guys on here in the actual chat thread, let me know how many of you guys would like to sponsor uh, Henry, would like to sponsor Ziggy, would like to sponsor Jesse McPherson, would like to sponsor Muzaffar Najvi, would like to sponsor, um, you know, uh, 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 Jefferson Santos, uh, Matt Morris, uh, Jay Peso. How many of you guys would like to sponsor one of those top income earners? All right. Let me know in the chat thread. Yeah, right. Nira, you know, so for sure. So, you know, in order to sponsor someone like that, wouldn't you agree that you'd have to be able to solve really big problems to help them with their challenges so they could be successful? And as a byproduct, they would bring a lot of really great people that would push a lot of volume. And uh, ultimately, you would make a lot of money. Isn't that a true statement as well? Right. So in saying that, wouldn't it be naive to think that we wouldn't have to become a better, higher quality of individual and work on ourselves and personal development and, you know, um, become better with product knowledge, uh, to become better presenters, better problem solvers, and uh, better um, secret agents, you know, and be ultimately become better people in order to help those people be solve the challenges that they're experiencing, right? Wouldn't that be common sense? So here we are today on a Zoom being pioneers of a continent uh, in my opinion, the most amazing continent because I believe everything started there and, uh, and close by. But, um, you know, it would be naive to believe that we should be expecting to have those types of uh, phenomenal results without first solving phenomenal high challenges in order to experience those results, right? Are you guys following me there? Don't you guys agree? And, uh, you know, because I know sometimes emotionally, we as emotional human beings, you know, we, our self-talk, we say, oh, well, this isn't fair, or that's not happening fast enough, or, you know, this out or the other, right? And, you know, whatever it might be that we're telling ourselves, um, ultimately, you know, we, we say we don't want a get-rich-quick company, um, because, you know, those companies never last anyway, right? And, um, but uh, ultimately, we're not, you know, uh, patient enough to go through and grow through the challenges in order to actually have a solid foundation with a company that's going to last forever that ultimately we can build true wealth within um, and be in business with the right people, right? Because even if you were to get rich tomorrow, you could be in business with the wrong people and those wrong people would shut it down and take advantage and you would be left high and dry starting another opportunity. And we see those opportunities all the time because those same people go from company to company to company to company to company and then they say, oh, by the way, you know, that last company was not my fault. It was blank, blank, blank's fault. And then ultimately what happens is they say, but I have freedom over here because they try to tell you everything that was wrong previously and then sell you the solution in the future. When they keep making the same bad decisions in the future, 
that led them to have such a crappy past. You guys follow me there? And so, you know, for me, it was like Isaac Ben Shabbat, right? He is who he says he is. And, you know, he's not perfect by any means because he's a human being. And uh, if anything, I believe he says yes to try and help too many people. And ultimately, sometimes his health um, lacks as a byproduct because he's always outworking himself. And the CEO of our great company that is just getting started in Africa, right? And just really getting started in the United States and globally, um, you know, he's, uh, he, he puts other people before himself. And uh, he's a true servant leader. He's become my best friend, uh, one of my best friends. He and his family were here at my house literally the other day, and our daughters were playing together with his sons. And we didn't talk anything about business because I didn't want to ask him about business. I was more so trying to talk to him about him and our friendship and being here together. And so, you know, again, we expect so much, but ultimately he's leading the charge and he's outworking everyone. I would say collectively on this Zoom, right? And uh, doing the same things that we're doing here today to lead the community better uh, for it to be a better opportunity tomorrow as a byproduct of what he's doing today. And so if we adopt those same philosophies and work ethics and mindset that Isaac has, I would ultimately believe that we would have a lot better results and our company for sure would be a lot better um, tomorrow than it is today as a byproduct of us and the tongue in our mouth matching the one in our shoes. And so when we first got started, my wife and I, our situation was our motivation. Uh, we were multiple months behind on our mortgage. We were not making any money because the economy crashed and it seemed like overnight. And again, I didn't know anything about skincare. Um, it scared me. <laughs> but knowing that, um, you know, my house was about to go into foreclosure, uh, you know, I was taking care of my mom financially who was fighting brain cancer at the time, right? I knew that if, you know, I was, you know, she wasn't giving up, how could I give up, right? You know, watching what she was going through on a daily basis, it was very simple for me to do the things that I needed to do to get and help us in a better financial situation because I was seeing her fight the greatest battle she was fighting in her life. And ultimately, how could I not match that with the opportunity and battle I was fighting? Although, you know, her health battle was far more challenging than my financial battle because I don't believe financial um, uh, challenges are problems. I believe they're challenges. I believe fighting, you know, cancer is a problem, right? It's not a challenge, although it can seem challenging, but a financial challenge is a financial challenge. It's just whether or not we are going to rise to the occasion in order to solve that challenge because we have the greatest vehicle in the world to do so. And all we have to do is pay forward the opportunity uh, to show people the product and show them in an overview and see if this would be a great opportunity for their lives to increase their lifestyle. And some people say yes, and some people say no. But unfortunately, again, as emotional beings, we get caught up in what people say and them um, you know, necessarily saying no to us, but they're saying no to them because they don't believe this can solve their challenges or maybe their own beliefs from, you know, uh, the people they hang around, unfortunately, um, you know, are talking them out of living their dreams because whether we believe the people that uh, we hang around influence us more than we influence them or not, it's actually true. They hold us down more than we lift them up. And so, you know, I always heard it said best that if you can't change the people around you, then it's time to change the people around you, right? So, um, because the elevation we're looking for, everyone here is looking to elevate, yes? right? If you're looking to elevate, you know, go ahead and type in elevate and let us know, right? So if you are looking to elevate, then it would be naive, again, to think that we can't or shouldn't separate from the people that are actually stealing our dreams, right? Uh, because they are dream stealers. And so, you know, again, um, how do we do this business? Well, is it easy? I wouldn't say it's easy, but again, struggling isn't easy. Life isn't easy. Um, you know, everyone is dealing with challenges in their lives. Unfortunately, most people disguise them as prompt problems, but they are challenges if they're not health related. And so how do we solve those challenges? Well, 
It's all about inspecting what you expect. If you inspect yourself and your daily operation of the things that we're doing, whether um, they're the activity that is paying us or it's the activity that's costing us, right? And so how many of you guys are doing the uh, right activity on a daily basis to yield high results? How many of you guys are doing that, right? Um, you know, are, are you doing the uh, presentations? Whether it's a Zoom presentation, whether it's a in-person presentation, whether you're sending someone a link to view secret to see if it could be a solution for their life's challenges, right? I believe Henry is doing it. There we go. Nisa, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, but um, you hit the nail on the head consistently, right? Because if you're consistent, you will get results. If you're persistent, right? You will keep those results. And you can say that and vice versa as well. If you're persistent, you will get results. If you're consistent, you will keep results. And so Nira says not enough, right? And so, of course, none of us are doing enough um, when, you know, because if you think about it, for example, right? On a scale of one to 10, if 10 is your belief in secret and one is your lack of belief in secret. So type in a 10 if you're like, you know what? I believe secret is my vehicle for, uh, you know, achieving my lifestyle and my dreams. If it's a 10, if your belief is at a 10, type in 10, please let me know. Okay. Yep. Angela, Stanley, right? Hillary, Nira again, Lydia, Martin. Yep. Absolutely. Ziggy, right? Uh, Oppo, I believe, um, you know, Jessica, Julie, uh, Yusuf. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So, right? Uh, Christy. So everyone says 10, right? So here's a little challenge for you. If your belief is at a 10, where is your activity? Is it at a 10? Meaning you're doing everything you can do and you can't do any more. Uh, one being like, you know what? I really need to get started on chasing my dreams with secret. So is your activity at a 10? Galaxy Tab says not quite. I appreciate that transparency because your belief can't be at a 10 and your activity be at a 10 and you not be where you want to be in your business. It just doesn't happen that way, right? And again, that's where it comes in us being business owners and being independent uh, business owners, if you will, um, because ultimately we as business owners, let me uh, put my charger back in guys. Um, ultimately we as business owners, um, we need to inspect the things that we expect to happen. And what are those things that we need? We inspect. Well, we can't control what people say to us, whether it's a yes or no. We can't control when people get started with us if they're actually going to do anything because most people that say they're going to do anything actually don't do anything. How many of you guys have had people that got started and you don't understand why they actually didn't do any activity or they didn't launch, right? You know, happens to me all the time. And, uh, you know, because unfortunately, a lot of people that actually get started don't get started because them signing up on our link as distributors, independent uh, secret agents, um, you know, uh, actually, they seem like they're more dependent secret agents, right? Because if they were independent, they would take control of their own business and they wouldn't actually need us. They would go and they would treat this like a million dollar opportunity and they would actually get great results. Right. But unfortunately, most of us that sign independent agent agreements, uh, we are way too dependent on other people and we blame our lack of success on those people. But unfortunately, we don't also give them credit for our success. Um, we as human beings typically take credit for success. Right. But, um, you know, I learned a long time ago, whenever you have a finger pointing at someone else, and you're blaming someone else, you also have three other fingers that are pointing back at us because whether it's to be or not to be, it's really up to me, right? Would you guys agree with that? And so, you know, when we first started, we didn't have all this fancy, um, you know, we didn't have Zoom, um, you know, we didn't have social media, we didn't have an app, we didn't have Facebook groups, we didn't have anything other than a flip chart that was like 50 pages and we had product and we would pick up the phone and we would smile and dial and we would literally um, meet with people to show them secret. 
And some people joined and some people didn't. Some people bought and some people didn't. And guess what? It didn't matter because if I had to convince someone to get started, I would have to convince them to finish. And I didn't have time to convince people to get started because I was too busy investing my time with people that wanted to finish versus spending it with people that said they wanted to finish, but their activity didn't really match their words. And so again, all we're trying to do is find people that are like us, right? That are actually interested in, you know, um, contributing and taking charge and pioneering their family's legacy. And, um, you know, and saying, you know what, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this because whether I have to go up, whether I have to go under, whether I have to go around, whether I have to go through, my family deserves it because, right? Because I'm their hero. And so I know that if my belief in secret to take this vehicle, and this is my vehicle that's going to lead me to success, going to lead me to wealth and going to solve all of my family's challenges, right? God willing, then why would I not play all out, leave it on the field, focus on the things that pay me instead of spending it on the things that are costing me, right? And controlling what I can control. What are the things that we can control? Again, it's our activity, it's our belief, and it's our you know, results. You can control your results because you get better, right? Sharpening your ax because you also get better swinging a sharp tool to chop down the tree. And so if we know that that's the case, right? Let's get better right? Let's eliminate our stinking thinking, right? Let's put our act, our attitude before our paycheck because our paycheck will follow because the only thing to follow activity and in, in action is results, right? Because that's it. And how do you get better results? Better attitude, better activity. And so you apply the knowledge because knowledge is not power. That's something they teach you in school that doesn't mean anything, right? Um, you know, and, uh, 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 um, but, you know, your attitude, your activity will give you better results because you apply the things that you learn. And still, you'll have people that tell you you're crazy. Well, guess what? Normal people don't change the world, right? And so if it's to be, it's up to me. People call me crazy all the time, but guess what? These two call me daddy. That's what I focus on, right? And so, you know, I focus on my daughters and I focus on my wife and being their hero and doing the things necessary. Even when I don't want to do them, I do them because I know the only thing to follow is results and the life and lifestyle in which I promised them that we would live, right? And so, because I knew if I had a, a, one, a, a 0% chance of living my life style and the way that I want to live it, providing for them, as a mortgage banker, when the economy crashed, my you know, income would crash. If I knew that I didn't control that, but I knew that I controlled my activity and my attitude to receive the results I'm looking for in my secret business, then guess what? I knew I would have ups and downs, but I knew that there were people financially vested in my success. I could call Henry and he could lift me up when I was down. But I also knew that I didn't have to worry about calling Henry or calling Ziggy when. I was having a bad day for them to talk me off the ledge or to make excuses. All I needed them to do was lift me up, right? So I could go be more empowered in my activity, but I wouldn't bring them my complaints because I knew they signed the same agreements I did. And even though we were in business for ourselves, we were not by ourselves. But I also knew that they didn't have to babysit me because I'm a grown adult. And you know, like my kids are my kids. I don't even babysit them, they're my children. So why would I babysit an adult when I'm too busy focusing on looking on other, for other adults that want to be independent and want to actually chase the same dreams that I do, right? To, to provide the same lifestyle for their family and maybe even more and ultimately become a pioneer and a legacy holder and be a historical secret agent of a continent. Does it, do you guys follow me? Yes or yes, right? And so, you know, again, you control your activity, you control your results because you control your attitude. And the only way to get those is literally to focus on your attitude and your activity. And, uh, and so with that being said, guys, yes, you know, the success we've had today is phenomenal. 
but we still do the same things. It's still the same activity. You know, if anything, um, you know, I'm making more phone calls today than ever before because I believe the opportunity is so much better today than it was way back when, right? We have a back office. We have an app that I can send someone a video from my phone. They can check it and I can see how much they watched. That's pretty amazing. We didn't have that stuff back then. You know, we have travel, right? We have so many other, we have even better skincare than we had before. And the, the old stuff is amazing, right? I mean, we've made amazing, amazing income and uh, formed amazing bonds and friendships with people with old skincare and old technologies that still sell today. And so I believe the opportunity is even better today than it was before because I can actually sponsor people in Africa. I can sponsor people in Asia. I can sponsor people in other continents. And so I can pay forward the greatest opportunity in the world, regardless of my geographical location. And I can help more people than ever before get started in our company and make extra income. And they can control how much they make based on their activity, their attitude, and ultimately their results. And so with that being said, guys, I hope um, you guys apply the stuff that you've learned today, because people say, well, what do I do? Or what do I say? Just be real with people. Tell the truth. The truth is good enough, right? Schedule to show people secret. That's it. Make sure you have your products so you can demo products on people. Because like me, I didn't have a background in skincare. Again, it scared me. But, you know, we let people play with product and they said, what does it do? And I'm like, I don't know. Look at your face. Look at your hands. How does it feel? They say, what's in it? I'm like, read the box because I didn't know, right? But what I did know is that the product showed immediate results. So I didn't have to say too much. Actually, the less I said, the more I made because I could demo, demo, demo and people could feel the results themselves. And when people feel results, again, less is more, but you have to control your attitude. You have to control your activity and you'll get better results. And so what does it matter? What does it say? Just tell the truth. Share people why you're doing it. Schedule appointments with them. Let them know your time is valuable and you know theirs is too. And so you don't like to count, cancel. And so share with them why you're doing it. And so they can't cancel on you, right? And you're still going to have people that cancel, right? But I know life is challenging. People have challenges. But at the end of the day too, people are people. And so, you know, at the end of the day, most of the people that said yes to me and came on board said no to me first, maybe five to 10 to 20 to 30 to 50 times, right? But why would I take them off my list, right? Because maybe the timing wasn't right for them, but the timing was right for me. So all I had to do was make more phone calls to find people who the timing was right for. And again, because I controlled my attitude and my activity and the results we got today and we're still getting today is amazing because we're still doing the same things today we did back then. We just have a far better opportunity today than we had back then. So with that being said, Henry, I'll turn it back over to you. Thank you for the time. Uh, I believe in you guys so much in Africa. And I know that the top earners are on here. Um, actually, not even on here yet because you haven't called them yet. So I hope you do. And I hope you do more activity to get better results. So thank you again. God bless you guys. And I appreciate you all. Wow, thank you so much, I mean, Ben, for, for, for everything and uh, for, for sharing as well. I know some people might have, I don't know if you've got a few minutes for some few questions as well, you know, because people might be just asking, hey, Ben, how did you move from, I mean, six months, how was your day like for you to move to become a, a diamond within six months? Yeah, so great question, guys. Um, it all focused on the basics, right? So... You know, a mentor of mine told me a long time ago, being, getting rich is boring, but being rich is not, right? And so if you want to get really, really good at something, well, guess what? You have to be okay with being bad at it, right? And so, you know, if you think about this, for example, you know, um, how many of you guys want to be in the best shape of your life, right? Whether it's going to the gym and, um, you know, getting uh, phenomenal results, right? Big muscles, losing weight. Well, you can't cheat the grind again. You have to go do the reps. You have to work through the lactic acid. You have to, you know, literally show up and work out 
and eat good nutrition and things like that. Well, guess what? If you know that's your secret to your success of getting in shape, then why would you not do it, right? And so, you know, same thing with business, same thing with life. Most successful people that I know aren't actually really good at a lot of things. They're just really, really good at mastering simple things that yield high results. What are those things? Contacting and inviting, right? Making a list, not prejudging anyone, right? And then showing people the deal, that's it. And what else do we do? We promote, we promote trainings and we promote things so we can get people trained and we can all plug into something where everyone can get the same information. And by the way, it's with people that actually have what we're looking for, right? So, you know, why would I not want to do that? So I know if the basics are me making a list, putting down everyone, right? And then, you know, ultimately contacting and inviting them to see information, right? Demo products, and then plug them into a training platform where they can actually get the same info me that I have. So we can all become better together, right? Why would I not want to do those simple things every day to get high results? And, you know, so people say, well, what did you do in order to get that? Well, you know, the secret sauce that we tell people is, oh, two exposures a day keeps the bill collectors away, right? So if you're only doing two exposures a day, five days a week, right? For 50 weeks a year that you're talking, you're doing 500 exposures in a year. Pretty simple to do, isn't it? Two exposures a day. Why not? That's simple, right? You can do that in 10 minutes if you want to do it. So, you know, that's 500 people a year. It would be naive to think that you couldn't sponsor one out of 10 people, right? Like that's pretty simple, you know? So, how many of us here, right, would like to sponsor 50 people in a year? That's pretty much the secret sauce to six figures, isn't it? So how many of us are talking to people twice a day and doing two demos and exposures five days a week for 50 weeks a year? We're still taking off the weekend and we're taking off two weeks a year for our vacation to ultimately vacate our lives that we actually want to increase the quality of. Because if you break down the root word of vacation, it's vacate. I want to build a life that I don't have to vacate to go on vacation because I want my life every day to be a vacation. So if I can do two exposures a day, five days a week, 50 weeks a year, and I can literally talk to 500 people and demo on them, what, like I can sign up 50 people, that's pretty simple. But again, the things that are simple to do are simple not to do. And that's exactly why people don't do it. So, you know, if you want to look at what my routine looks like, I'm off balance. I'm off balance. Uh, no days are the same, but I focus on exposures and follow-ups and trainings. And I don't convince people to get on trainings because they should do it for, their, for them, not for me. I don't convince people to do the business because they should do it for them, not for me. I'm just looking for the people that are looking for me. And the more exposures I do, the closer I get to them. So I can't make a two an ace. I can't magically turn a drama queen into an ace or a jackass into an ace. Like, actually, I don't want to turn them into aces. I want to flip the next card so I can get away from them because they're the ones that cause the drama, right? And they're the ones that are not focusing on solution. They're focusing on challenges and problems. And so, yeah, if I can't change the people around me, I got to change the people around me. Pretty simple. You want to make more than six figures a year, do 10 exposures a day, five days a week, 50 weeks a year. You can still have your vacation. You can still take your two days off, right? Zig, I love you too. So long, so overdue to connect. And I, I apologize. Um, but I know we've been in the trenches together, locking arms from afar. And, uh, but I appreciate those kind words. And so again, it would be naive to think that if you talk to 10 people a day and demoed 10 times a day, right? Five days a week, 50 weeks a year. That's 5,000. You'd sign up 500. You would sponsor more people than a Jesse McPherson, a Muzaffar Najvi, right? Uh, definitely a Ben Bradshaw, right? You know, if you want to do 30 a day, right? 30 a day, five days a week, right? 50 weeks a year. I don't even have that math, but guess what? You'd be doing well. You'd be in the seven figure clubs, right? So I don't know, brother. I don't know, sister. 
you got to do what you got to do, right? But just do more, you know, because we can all do more because we all said our belief is at a 10. Our activity is just not there yet. But when our activity matches our belief, magical things will happen. And uh, so, you know, I promise you guys, don't put the, 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 the cart before the horse. You have to go through and grow through what you're going through and what you're growing through because if you want to attract the biggest earners, you have to first become that person worthy of, you know, leading them. And that's the only way it happens. And so, um, I, again, I appreciate you guys and I hope that answers your question. So, you know, just do more and do more and do more. And your family will thank you for it later on, I promise. You know what, uh, you've have, you have said it uh, point blank and to so many people, I think a lot of leaders here, uh, you have answered most of their questions. They've been trying to change people who are a two to make them an ace, you know what I'm saying? So at least you've answered that question to some of the leaders and they've got it very clear, especially from you to say, hey, don't worry, go and change. Uh, if you can't change the people around you, change the people as well. You can go and get new blood that's at least what we truly need uh, going on forward as well. And I know, Ben, you've, you've also committed to come back uh, in any of the sessions is in the future as well. And um, maybe you can give Africa a target to say, hey, guys, go there and do implement. And um, maybe after three or four weeks, we can get you back again and see where we stand and where we are as well as, uh, as Africa. That would actually be amazing. Um, you know what, uh, Henry, I, I appreciate you saying that. So I'm, I, I, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the 100 no challenge. Yes, I am. Okay, let's launch that. And you know, for those of you that get 100 no's in the next 30 days, I'll come and even do a even higher leadership um, Zoom for those people. So, you go out and get a hundred no's, meaning you showed and, and demoed, right? On a hundred people. Now, I know that you may not be able to demo the product on a hundred people, which you can, if you wanted to, if you really wanted to, you could. Um, but I'll just say you guys did 100 exposures. So meaning you called someone and they saw the information, right? And you connected them to a third party, if it's a third party or whatever, right? Um, you know, for Q and A, it's a full exposure, right? Go for no, Dr. Lucy, one of my fa excuse me, one of my favorite books, Richard Fenton, right? And um, you know, so if you don't have it, um, Henry, I can find it for you and send it to you. Yep. The 100 no challenge, and for those that get 100 no's, right? Um, I will do a ho much higher leadership level Zoom where it will be all gloves off and we will go, go down whatever route you guys wanna go down. And um, so I'm not asking you to sign people up. I'm asking you to focus on the activity and do it with a phenomenal attitude, okay? So complete your 100 no's and write down their names and their phone numbers, right? And maybe Ziggy and Henry can keep track of it. And uh, I don't care if it's one person that completes it or we have 66 people on here today, 66 people that completed will do it in 30 days so yeah brilliant so at least that means the first week of um of september we're going to have another session with you ben as well when we have completed our 30 days in the 100 nose challenge i just want to know yeah. maybe here on the chat whilst you're still there how many of you, if you are ready for the 100 no's challenge and if you want to be part of the Africa 2.0, please let us know in the chat there. We are watching and saying, hey, just tell, count me in. I see Lydia, she's the first one to go all in. I want to see guys who are saying, hey, we are ready for the 100 no challenge. I mean, we are now starting secret. Uh, we are now going into secret now. We are building secret now. And I uh, just want to see, there's Tabitha, there's um, uh, Faith, and let's see who else is in for the 100 challenge. I see Hawa, I, I see Nita, I see Mo, I see Yusuf. I mean, guys, nobody's going to monitor you, and you're the one who's going to, uh, nobody's going to babysit you, and you're not saying this to impress me, you're not saying this to impress Ben, 
I mean, you are just here making this commitment for yourself to change your business and to change your the trajectory for your family. That's what you're in. And we've got quite a number of guys here saying, hey, I'm all in, count me in, count me in. I mean, guys, we're going to build this. We want to build secret the right way and want to build secret uh, the, with the right mindset. And I think uh, we're talking, I think, uh, to say right now, in right now, the secret we are launching, we now have the right people. We now have the people with the right attitude. We now have people who have secret at heart. And uh, this, you, these are the people that are going to take you the next level. All right. I don't know, Ben, if what your last parting words that at least you have for us that you want to say uh, for us as well. Yeah. So, guys, I'll just leave you with this, right? How many guys? How many guys have a family, right? Or you have people that are counting on you to make things happen, right? Most of us, all of us, right? All of us have people that are counting on us. Um, and some of us, like our spouses or our significant others, um, they may be counting against us, but they're really counting on us, right? But they're counting against us because they don't believe that we're actually going to do what it takes because, again, we've said we're going to do this so many times and we haven't done it yet to be successful. And so, again, even though they're counting against us, they're actually counting on us. It's just sometimes disguised by negative attitude and behavior. But, you know, for me, it was like, listen, how, why would I not take a no from someone, you know, that, uh, you know, doesn't actually contribute to their life and their lifestyle that I want them to live, right? So why am I worried about taking a no from someone or, list, or, or you know, why am I, you know, if I, if I would take a, a bullet for them or if I would jump in a car in front of a car to redirect it away from, you know, my family, you know, being something bad happening to my family, if I would do that, then why wouldn't I take a no? Why wouldn't I take two no's a day, 10 no's a day, 30 no's a day, whatever, how many no's a day with a good attitude over time and keep focusing on the activity to yield the high results that I know would give them the lifestyle that they were looking for? Why would I not do that knowing that, they deserve it because a no doesn't hurt me, right? A no doesn't even hurt them actually, you know? Um, you know, if anything, they ask me how many people I'm going to help every day, which is amazing, right? Uh, I was on a, a call a couple of weeks ago and, um, you know, talking about residual income and Kylie, who's almost eight years old, will be eight years old when, um, Monday. She goes, daddy, you know, I know all about residual income. It comes over and over and over and over. She's almost eight years old and she knows that. And most adults don't even know what residual income is because if they knew they would be participating in it. And so guys, like we're raising our families, they're watching us. They're watching what we do and they're watching what we don't do and they're sponges and they're going to duplicate that. So why would we not take no's? Why would we not you know, take the pain away that they're actually already going through? Because we know that we have the vehicle and we know we can control what we need to control in order for them to experience the life that they deserve. And so I believe in you guys. I know you can do it. It's just whether or not you're going to do it. And so I look forward to the, the 100 no challenge to see who's going to be in in 30 days for our next Zoom where we can take the gloves off and have a much more leadership conversation. Appreciate you guys. God bless you. Let's go make it happen. And uh, I look forward to the next Zoom with you guys. Take care. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Ben. I think, uh, guys. I mean, we have um, we have had and um, uh, all the things that it is now. It's the ball is in your court. We now need to go out there and take the action and do what we need to do to implement and uh, take your business to the next level. Thank you so much, uh, Ben. We truly appreciate you guys. And thank you so much, guys, for all being on the call. Africa 2.0 starts with you. It's now time for you to take this uh, to the next level. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great evening. Have a wonderful day. Let's go for the, for the 100 nose challenge and we'll post more details on how we're going to take it and move it to the next level. Have a great evening. Good night, guys. Thank you very much, Harry. Thank you. Thank you, Henry. Thank you, Henry. Thank you, Thank you very much, Henry. 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 Henry.